Hey, good evening everyone. This is another session on palmistry and we will continue with the series and in this particular uh, video I will be discussing about uh, this palm. The, pa the person is left-handed so it's important that uh, we sort of uh, figure out the uh, most of the events on the left hand. I, I am aware about certain aspects of this person, certain you know uh, hardships that the person went through obviously you know uh, the person did go through a lot of difficult times but the good news is that eventually things are uh, opening up for the person um, so yeah that's how it is again uh, i would like to extend my gratitude to all of you to all the higher gurus lord shiva lord shani and uh, hopefully you will be able to learn more out of through these videos and uh, you know continue to use these information to help and guide uh, each other you know help each other guide each other and sort of uh, you know uh, do it a bit more unconditionally uh, try doing that and uh, you know that that would really help um, you know a lot of people to uh, basically find their best or true potential right so that's that's the important message now uh, let's get started with this particular palm right now uh, to get started what um, you know some of the important events are that from 21 till the ages of 34 or so the person has had a fairly difficult life a lot of stress a lot of difficulty and we can clearly see that look into the number of horizontal bars that are cutting across right these are a lot of the horizontal bars and you see they are continuous by nature right they continue to you know cut across and you know they're continuously there right and this is a very strong sign that uh, the person is going through a lot of difficult phase right and you can see it right from 22 till the ages of 35 36 you can see the array of the horizontal bars and that clearly suggests you know that the person has gone through a difficult period right now uh, it's also important to understand that you know we should also understand what was the nature or why were these obstacle caused what was the primary reason see if i look into the heart line the heart line looks sort of fine but the headline is under a lot of pressure in the beginning part so it means collectively his maybe inability to think and focus and concentrate upon things has also uh, you know led to uh, certain difficulties in his life now the person did go through a very very difficult period at or around the ages of 21 okay in fact the person faced depression around the ages of 31 and uh, 21 sorry and it was one of the most difficult period for the person now see this line is never going to disappoint us you can clearly see a line coming in and again as usual pointing towards the mount of saturn right clearly pointing towards the mount of saturn it means the saturn has entered your life and then you know you are going to go through certain difficult phase right and i've also seen that people who have gone through depression again it, it's maybe just my thought um I, I don't know if it is really accurate but in a lot of palms whenever saturn is getting involved uh, people are gen generally turning towards shiv or hanuman and that's sort of helping them on the way and which is interesting because saturn was very close with shiv and hanuman so in that sense it, it does make a lot of sense uh, and this person also is a avid follower of shiv and uh, especially after 2021 and you can clearly see how saturn uh, you know brought in depression to the person's life and post that uh, you know the life hasn't been very smooth because obviously once saturn slows you down it takes you to a difficult state of mind what does saturn do saturn basically takes you or slows you down it wants you to not rush into things you know because saturn is the planet of karma right what does that mean it means that you need to really slow down and figure out what are your habits that are not really good that are not really progressive it can be wide array of habits you know it can be wide range of habits but saturn wants you to correct them before proceeding ahead in your life 
and that is the main reason why it slows you down it's not like it enjoys slowing you down but it wants you to correct your habits you know a lot of people uh, it's believed that you know through multiple lifetimes we acquire certain habits and certain habits are not good you know uh, they can be habits of maybe uh, you know being dishonest you know and uh, there has been uh, and, and you have been dishonest let's say from multiple lifetimes and now finally saturn wants to you know slow you down understand how bad is you know be, how bad being dishonest is and wants to correct that thought pattern you know if you continue to work at a very high pace you might not even realize that and hence saturn slows you down saturn takes you towards the past saturn makes you introspect and that is what has happened in this person's case as well you can clearly see this line moving towards saturn clearly indicating uh, saturn causing suffering now apart from that there are these horizontal bars which are sort of continuously you can see all of them attacking the heart line right right from the beginning at least from 21 till 27 we can say these lines are continuously attacking originating from the mars mount and going towards the heart line clearly suggesting that there might have been and which the person does say that there might have been a lot of conflicts you know with respect to relationships with respect to his emotions because mars is a planet of aggression you know even after going through a phase of depression the person has continued to be aggressive uh, in his emotional matters and clearly the person would have gone through suffering in the emotional matters as well see the minute you see a triggering of saturn simple step slow down don't rush on to things be patient be consistent be stable things will work out but the minute you try to rush things the minute you try to outplay saturn you say okay what you have slowed me down i will be fast in this it will not allow things to happen saturn is a planet which heavily emphasizes on the importance of patience on the importance of slowing down because it primarily wants to change you as a person it primarily wants you to you know improve your habits so clearly the person did not slow down and that's where there was a lot of suffering uh, right from the ages maybe typically 28 to 27 in terms of emotional suffering and then post that you see there are these horizontal bars that are continuing to be there but now they are sort of moving towards mercury okay or they are moving towards relationship lines right there has been a shift so instead of you know attacking the heart line there has been a shift towards mercury maybe the person was trying to be very very you know aggressive in his business maybe the person was really trying to push himself very hard in job because mercury can represent can represent business mercury can represent communication and again because these lines are originating from mars it mars is you know always called a slightly tricky planet because mars energy is not very stable it's very abrupt it's very instantaneous it's very impulsive it's very proactive it's very brutal and when you bring that energy in uh, it's likely to bring obstacles in some way uh, hear me out in this sense that even if you're brutal to someone else he faces or there is a negative emotions that does get evoked and eventually you will you know be in a very messy environment in that sense and hence mars is called a malefic even if your communication is very forceful uh, very brutal or it's not uh, it's very confrontational it will cause some negative impact right and that is what happens when these mars lines or the lines originate from mars and starts going towards mercury or even relationship lines going towards relationship lines will indicate probably in terms of the relationship that was the approach the person was very very aggressive so mars correction is definitely required for this person and certain deities are there which were able to handle this aggressive energy very well for example ram was there so, so similarly there will be a lot of people who will Uh, who are able to hold mars energy well see mars energy is really required where think about it where do you require aggression where do you require proactiveness it can be maybe with respect to job right you want to be very you know direct uh, maybe it can be if you are in an army right you are you are you are in an army sort of a situation but barring those situations aside 
Mars is generally a very malefic planet, right? So it, the, the larger good would happen if you don't see any line rising from here at all. The minute the lines are rising from aggressive Mars and, and especially if they are horizontal, they will cause difficulties. But look into where these lines are heading towards. If moving towards heart line, it's likely to, to be emotion. If it is heading towards Mercury, it's likely to be in communication. If it is heading towards the relationship line, then it's likely to be the relationship where the over aggressiveness is being used. So that is how you will have to go about it. Anyways, uh, uh, moving ahead, uh, the person is facing, uh, so finally the person is also facing some challenges with respect to relationships. Now, how do we see that? Now, when you look into the relationship line, for instance, you see the line is doing fine, but there is a small branch that is coming down somewhat like that. This can indicate that there are some difference of opinions, but it's not that bad. You know, I've seen such markings in a lot of people's palm and it's not that such a bad marking. It just indicates that there is a difference of opinion. So that is fine. Overall, marriage life would be good. By, but why is the marriage line getting affected? The important planet says first Ketu. Ketu looks okay, okay. You know, there's nothing we can think of. It, it is a bit raised, so there can be some obstacles. But yeah, it's still okay. They, I don't see any major negative or red flags there. Then we need to look into Mercury. Mercury, yes, there are some negative marks on the relationship line. We have to look into Jupiter. Jupiter looks fine. No major negative uh, marks at least. But look at Venus. Under Venus, you see so many horizontal bars coming in. So many dot-like structures. You can see these tiny, tiny dot-like structures coming in. And in fact, you can see a small island also coming in over here. Right? So all this is indicating that Venus is acting as an obstacle as well. And Venus correction is required. So one Mars correction is required. So the person can go towards Mars and stabilize his anger, stabilize his confrontational uh, methods of dealing with life. Second is Venus because we can clearly see under the Venus mount the line is really nicely curved but there are so many dots, there are so many horizontal bars and there is this island that is coming up. All this are contributing to or indicating towards a weak Venus. And that's where the person can have challenges with relationship. But look into the marriage line. The marriage line looks good. So marriage will hold on. There will be obstacles. If the person you know, uh, evolves and is able to stabilize his Venusian energy, I'm very confident that the person can really take things to the next level. So that is how you will have to look from the palm. You know, obviously the person had got into a delayed marriage. Okay, because we can clearly see Venus issues are there. We can clearly see the relationship line coming a bit later, right? And obviously Ketu is not very promising as well, but Ketu is getting activated. Saturn is getting activated. These are the planets which are further delaying marriage. So yeah, hopefully you got few more learnings from this video. First and foremost, learning about the depression part that you can clearly see. You know the line going towards saturn secondly about the horizontal continuous horizontal bars originating from mars indicating conflicting sort of situations depending upon where they are pointing towards you can figure out the reasons for the conflict third and another important aspect is why there is a delay in marriage you can clearly see venus is under effect we are seeing saturn and ketu are getting activated and the marriage line being shifted a bit late all these are contributing towards a delay in the marriage and another important aspect that we also learned is that overall the marriage would be good because the marriage lines are fine it's just that there are a lot of karmas a lot of obstacles that the person has to finally go uh, you know finally able to overcome few chants that might help om namah shivaya obviously because saturn is strong and saturn is causing delays second important is for mars so the person can simply chant Ram, that chant, chanting will help. And then Venus, obviously the person can go for Om Shukrai Namah. Apart from that, the hand is pretty good. If you see the later years, the hand looks handy. The person will travel. There are strong chances of travel as well, especially towards Canada and US. The heart line looks good. The heart line is improving. The headline is getting pointed towards Mercury. That means the person can do very, very, a person can be very, very successful in business. Also, the sun line is coming up strongly, especially post ages of 40 or so. 
so a lot of success and recognition can come post 40 as well so yeah this is what we get thank you take care bye bye